Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fantasy Wax Melts new releases video. We do have a massive new release coming live today at 3 p.m. Central Time. Today is June 9th. I am, it's just a lot and I'm really, really, really excited to go over everything with you guys. I am, firstly, first of all, I have a massive bin because I couldn't fit everything in a medium sized bin, which is a little bit nuts. But it's a huge release. So first and foremost, before we get into what is going to be new for today's release, this has been live now for the past nine days and will be available all of June in unlimited quantities. And that is Brian's fave. Brian is my husband. As most of you know, for every birthday month for someone in our family, we do do their fave month, her fave month, fave scent, which is available all month long. And like I said, you can get it in unlimited quantities. So this is Brian's fave for the month of June since his birthday just passed on June 3rd. And he chose mahogany teakwood type, which is one of my personal favorites too. It's such a great masculine Bath and Body Works type scent. Very outdoorsy. It just like, I don't know, it gives very like sexy man vibes. And it's so, so good. So be sure to stock up. This is going to be Brian's fave. It's in a dark green and they all will be available in snap bars all month long. Now, technically today we have two releases in one. We are doing our mini 4th of July collection, which we have done every year, which is one of my favorites to do just because it's a smaller collection, just like the Easter collection. It's smaller, but I like really care about it a lot because... I don't know, I just really like doing it. It's fun to kind of keep the tradition alive. And then we have a massive Mario collection, Mario themed collection. We did a Mario themed collection last year, which I think was only six cents, maybe four, six. It feels like four might be right, which is a little bit nuts, but we have a uh, 15 to go over with you guys, which is our biggest collection to date. I believe even bigger than any of our Harry Potter collections. So there's a lot of melts coming at you this week and I am so, so excited to go over them with you guys. So I am gonna go ahead and get started with the 4th of July collection. Usually we do red, white, blue. We do three cents, but this year I did four because I could not pass up this one scent oil. So I'll start with our red, white, blue, which they aren't named red, white, blue. They're just gonna be the names of the scents, but they are going to be in firework shapes this year, which I'm so excited about. I found these molds at HEV, which I was stoked about and they're really big massive fireworks they come in two different shapes I have them both here so this is the first one they're the same size same weight and everything but they're just so cute so this first one is hot apple pie and this one will be the red one we've done hot, hot apple pie every year it smells absolutely fantastic like I think this is such a good like fall scent but honestly like all year round for me so hot apple pie will be our red scent and then our white scent I changed it up slightly and I did pink lemonade this year because pink lemonade is so much sweeter to me. It's so much more of like a sweeter, a little bit lighter, like more, more fruitier lemonade scent, if that makes any sense, um, than the regular lemonade. And I just love it so much. So that is going to be our white one. So this is the other firework you could potentially get. You don't get a choice when ordering, but like I said, they're the same size, same weight and everything. Can you see the outline? It's just a circle versus this one, which is more of like a star pattern so this is pink lemonade i haven't even smelled it yet i could like smell it wafting it's so good i sent out samples of this like i think the past release or the release before that and it's just so stinking good we've done pink lemonade in the past it was in one of our prior harry potter collections and it's just it's so good for the summertime one of my personal faves so that is the pink lemonade scent then the blue scent i've done this one before it is quite possibly my favorite and it is s'mores and if you have not smelled our s'mores oil you absolutely have to because it's it's not what you imagine at least not to me to me it just is so good it's like it smells like like freshly camp fired s'more like it just smells but you don't smell the campfire it's so so hard to explain but if you haven't smelled it i highly suggest it especially if you like bakery scents our s'mores is so stinking good. So that is the blue scent. And then this year I was like, you know what? Let's do like a red, white, blue situation. So um, this fragrance is going to come in a red, white, and blue layered scent, which is so pretty. Kind of looks like the toothpaste. <laughs> Love that. So I made this one and I showed it to my father-in-law and he was like, Kirsten, it would be so cool if you scented this, like, you know, those, those like bomb pops. And I was like, sir, give it a whiff called rocket pops it smells just like those bomb pops those popsicles it smells so good 
Oh, I love this one so, so much. So this is Rocket Pops. This one is going to be red, white, and blue. It's really cute, really fun. And yeah, so those are going to be our mini like 4th of July collection. Now let's get into the Mario collection, which yeah, it's pretty intense. So I'll start with like the characters. So at first we have Mario, which is available in the XL Snap Bar. I think I say this every time, but the XL Snap Bar is just one of my favorite shapes because it's still a snap bar but i only use one piece and this one piece is thick enough and it works so well and there's one two three four five six seven of those so seven melts i love it so this is like i said is mario it is red it's in our xl snap bar and this is a blend of fruit punch and mountain dew which i believe we've done this blend before in the past and if we haven't we've absolutely done fruit punch and mountain dew separately but together so so good mmm it's just like a fizzy fruit punch. It smells so good. Oh, it's like easily one of my favorite scents. It's just so like summery and it just gives me such good vibes. I don't, it's hard to explain a scent as good vibes, but it gives me good vibes and I love it so, so much. So that is Mario. Next up we have Peaches, not Peach, Peaches. It has to be Peaches. If you've seen the Mario movie, she had to be named Peaches. We did her as a heart shape because she's peaches and the pink and we have done this blend in the past it has been requested to come back many a time so we had to bring it back and it is fresh peach and zucchini bread this blend is so good mm. if you are a bakery lover you're going to love this if you're a fruity lover you're going to love this it's just so fresh like that peach is so good and then you blend in that zucchini bread and it's just like a creamy bakery peach i love this one so 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 much that is peaches Next up, we have Luigi. Luigi is our mini chunk bags. We did a green and white. He is oh, such a good blend. Blue sugar, mallow fluff, and vanilla bean Noel. It is so good. It's masculine, but the mallow fluff and the vanilla bean Noel just absolutely smooth it out. Make it like a creamy masculine so if you're not a huge fan of a very intense masculine such as like the mahogany teak wood this is going to be up your alley a little bit more and i think you're really going to like this one mm. it's like creamy blue sugar it's so good and weirdly enough in that one whiff i just took all i smell is like not all i smell but like the main attraction is the mallow fluff it's very good next up we have let's do shy guy so shy guy is going to be the one that comes in our waffle shapes and if you know our waffles they come in two different options so you can get the large waffle or the two pack of the heart waffles for shy guy i did white with like a red which like now that i'm looking at it i'm like that kind of looks like blood splatter so this could be cool for halloween um but yes this is shy guy if you've seen the movie also that kind of works too so shy guy is a blend of strawberry shortcake and cornbread i don't know if you guys have noticed but cornbread has definitely been one of the scent notes that i've been very much so fixated on for a while now i love cornbread mix it with strawberry and i think it is like so good so good to be fair they'll mix with everything it's so good but strawberry this is absolutely delicious it's like the perfect bakery for me because I'm such a fan of strawberry. That is so, so good. So that is going to be Shy Guy. Then we will do, is this Toad's? Yep. Toad's Big Adventure white snap bar so this is my personal take on like a fairground type scent a carnival scent if you will so i blended together caramel apple cotton candy and kettle corn three scent notes that i like associate with the fair and i love it i was so nervous don't get me wrong my first batch of this i was like really nervous and i was thinking or like i genuinely thought i was going to hate it i'm not the biggest fan of kettle corn as a scent note especially alone and I was a little bit nervous about blending it with these two scent notes that I really love, the caramel apple and the cotton candy, but it actually turned out pretty amazing. It just smells like, it smells like the fair at night. Like, I don't know why, but like when I smell this, I just imagine walking around, having my cotton candy with my like, it doesn't smell like lemonade, but I just, when I go to the fair, I get that like lemonade scent. So hey, if you want that, get pink lemonade too. But I just, it just, it just brings me to the fair at night. And that's kind of what I love about scents the most, you know? I feel like that's why I love wax, why I love fragrance so much, is because it can really invoke a memory for you. And it just gives me, like, walk around the fair at night kind of memories. And I really like this one. So that is Toad's Big Adventure. It smells absolutely fantastic. Um, next we have Yoshi's Tropical Island. I did as our two-pack 
clouds. This is one of our newer shapes and they're so stinking cute. I'm just obsessed with the clouds. For Yoshi's Tropical Island, I had to make it very tropical. It is margarita, blonde moment type, and fizzy pop. This is the fizziest, most punch you in the mouth scent you're going to get. If you want a scent that will throw for days and days and days and days and days, you want Yoshi's Tropical Island. It's pretty intense. Oh, but it's so good. I love the blend of margarita with fizzy pop. I know it's just kind of like the same things kind of coming together, but it's just so good. So good. So that is Yoshi's Tropical Island. Oh my gosh, there's still so many, you guys. You have no idea. Next, we'll do Rosalina. For Rosalina, I did the snowflake. I know, I'm like, it's June and I'm out here using the snowflake mold. Weird. But I had to. So Rosalina is in our larger snowflake scent or scent shape. If you haven't seen the shape of our snowflakes, they are quite large super cute so oh, this one's so good so for rosalina i did ice cream scoop bread sugar cookie dough and vanilla frosting mm. just if you love vanilla this one's for you it is so creamy so so good so that is rosalina she is available in our snowflake um okay what even else do we have here okay next up we have we have a bowser's bakery Bowser's Bakery is going to be in our bunt shape. I did a bunch of like bakery notes. This is French toast, vanilla butter fudge, and zucchini bread. I'm just such a huge fan of the vanilla butter fudge zucchini bread blend together. And then I add anything to it and I'm like, oh, it's so good. So French toast with this, amazing. Oh, this is so, oh my God, this is so good. This is so, so good. I feel like half of my wax collection literally just smells like this because it smells so good incredible so that is bowser's bakery next up we have dk's dessert for donkey kong he's gonna have a two-pack donut this is a blend of pancakes and banana caramel cupcake we have done banana caramel cupcake in the past and it has definitely been one of our like i would say customer favorites blended with pancakes i feel like makes it a little bit more creamier a little not creamier but like more bakery and it's so stinking good so this is dk's dessert and i love this banana scent so much it's so funny because i smelled banana on cold forever ago and i was like oh, i don't know if i like this but banana on warm, so stinking good. My camera is dying, so I'm gonna try and get through the rest of these pretty quickly. Next up, this is quite possibly one of my favorites. This is kind of what inspired me to redo the Mario collection, and that is Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road is going to be in our mini chunk bags, and I wanted to do a rainbow, and I thought it was really, really cute. So this is a blend of jelly donut, powdered donut, and strawberry white cake. It's extra, extra strawberry jelly-y with that donut. Mmm, so good and sweet. I love that one so much. So that is our Rainbow Road. Next up, we have Question Block. I didn't have any other square molds, so forgive me. So I did use the Wave Bar mold, which might be a little bit weird. But I was like, you know what? It kind of looks like a Question Block. We'll go with it. So this is a blend of Hawaiian Tropic and Mango Papaya. This is such a summery scent. Oh, it is so good. This is, this is summer, like reincarnated. This smells like you are laying outside, getting a tan. The kids are playing on the splash pad. Mmm, this smells so good. So that is question block. Next up, we have Mushroom Kingdom. I did bring back the two pack clouds again because they're just so cute. And I love them in white because they're clouds. Mushroom Kingdom is a... This is so good. Palo Santo oatmeal cookies and toasted malo. I love Palo mixed with anything bakery. This is like... A sexy man who bakes, bakes oatmeal cookies. Oh, it's so good. So good. So good. That is Mushroom Kingdom. We're almost done. Next up, we have King of, King of Koopas. King of Koopas. King of the Koopas, which is a two-pack fluted tart. This is another, like, super summery one to me. This is mango sorbet, Mexican fried ice cream, and waffle cone. It's a creamy, ice creamy mango scent. It smells like mango froyo. Mm. That's another one I really love. I'm a big fan of mango scent. So love that one. That is King of the Koopas. And then I believe this is last but not least, we have our cake shape, pink cake. Super, super cute. This is Let's Celebrate. This is not the last one. This is Let's Celebrate. And like that, celebrate, had to do it as a cake. And it's a bunch of cake scents. It is cherry chip cake, birthday cake, and zucchini bread. I love cherry chip cake. Cherry chip cake was Avery's fave for this year. Mixed with birthday cake and zucchini bread. Mmm. Mmm. The 
good, so good. So that is Let's Celebrate. And then last but not least, we have our last snack bar called Thwomp It Up Brown. This is blackberry caramel latte and zucchini bread. Mm, this is so good. I had to do it with another coffee snack. I'm a big fan of coffee. That blackberry mixed with it is so, so good. And that is Thwomp It Up. So that, my friends, is everything for our big release today. If you want more information, definitely follow us on Instagram, join our Facebook group if you're not already, and subscribe to me too. So, I'll see you guys at 3 p.m. Central Time. I am stoked about everything, and I hope you guys are too. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.